Hello, my name is Denise Whitfield. I'm coordinator of ministries here at Shiloh Bible Church. Here at Shiloh, we are committed to exalting the Lord through corporate worship, edifying and equipping the saints through various discipleship ministries and evangelizing the world. Recently, I had the opportunities to sit down with some folks and talk with them about their experience in small group communities here at Shiloh Bible Church. We all need alongsiders to help us and encourage us to cooperate with the spirits working in our lives. Here's what they had to say about their E2 community experience. Uh, Marsha and I have been coming to Shiloh for a number of years now, and as much as we love the church and love the service, we realized that we were never gonna to get to know the church body on Sunday morning just because it's too busy. So we decided to commit ourselves to the small group in the hopes of getting to know friends and family and and we've been doing that now for a number of years. It's very important to us. I have, My husband works a job where he doesn't really normally have off many Sunday mornings. So for us, this is something that we can go to together. I think it's a good example for my children to show that those things take priority over the little things that may try to stop us from getting there. Well, even though Dick and I are retired and people think you have nothing else to do, um, we find sometimes when it's um, Tuesday night and time to go to small group, we feel very like tired and like not sure we want to go. And it, we just have to realize that we made a commitment to do this and that um, we have enjoyed getting to know the people that are in our small group and the studies that we're doing. And we know that we'll be better for it if we push through and make sure that we go. Good question. Uh, you know, if, if you read scripture, you know, you're gonna be blessed when, when you get together as, as believers. And so, you know, and my surprise or unexpected benefit, I don't know that I am because, you know, you expect good things to happen when Christians get together uh, in, in a communal setting or a small group setting. And so you see scripture come alive. So what scripture tells you will happen, happens. So. Well, we have, we have people coming from three different churches. So it was um, initially the local church, somebody at the, a, a church close to us came and said, you know, we'd like to do a Bible study. Would you guys lead it? And we did it. And now we have um, some people from Shiloh, some people from Culp United Methodist Church, and we also have some people from um, First Baptist in Danville. The marriage studies are always <clears throat> really challenging because um, life flies by and every day just seems to sun up to sundown, it's just go, go, go. And there's often times where I find myself getting in a rut of just day-to-day -day things and getting those tasks done. We did a marriage study last year and it really did challenge me to, to, to listen first and to really just do what the Bible says as far as, you know, slow to anger, slow to speak, um, and to be patient. It was the uh, time when I was pregnant, so I think it was probably the last study that I did, and um, I made a lot of close friends. They all asked me to um, sit in a chair, and they all stood around me, and they prayed over me, and that was so special to me because there was so many unknown things with having this baby and um, it was just such a surprise blessing from the Lord. We were praying for that for a long time and for them to want to place their hands on me, to pray for me because they felt so impacted over this as well was just phenomenal to me. You won't regret it. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the relationships that you form with people that you might not normally interact with all the time in church. Come out, it's a great time to, 
you get to know your fellow believers and you can bring unsaved people and it's not a threatening environment and you can get to know people and study God's Word and have fun doing it. Absolutely, just say, yes, I'm going to come. Once you come one time, you're going to decide you want to keep coming. I would encourage them to come and try it. Because there's a lot of needs and people don't know what needs are needed unless they go and ask and <clears throat> you get involved in a small group and you can really lean on each other and encourage each other and you know prayer for each other um, and I think that's one of the things that's desperately needed in in the world we live in but also in the community and in the church and in families.